Hi, it's Tim from Holistic here. In this video, we're going to show you how to add email accounts to your iPhone. I've just got a new iPhone 6 Plus, which is uh, great. It's nice and big. And I'm going to use that to demonstrate the process of adding my email accounts to it. It's a pretty simple process. The first thing you need to know is what the settings are for your individual email address that you want to add. In this case, I'm going to add a Zoho email address. What you really just need to understand is that it uses IMAP. And the first thing we're going to do is go onto the page on Zoho email that explains what the IMAP settings are. Now, any email system that you choose to install are going to have their IMAP instructions somewhere. So it's just a bunch of settings. If you're not using Zoho, you want to be able to have that URL or find that URL. And usually the simplest thing to do is just to do a Google search for IMAP and your email system, and you'll probably be able to find it that way. In this case, here's the Zoho email uh, IMAP settings page and uh, tells you all about IMAP and how to access the email system from different applications. And down here are the general settings. So let's take a look at my iPhone. So what we're going to do now is add that email account to my email using those settings. So first thing we do is go to settings and scroll down and look for mail and add a mail account. So click there, add mail account. And these are different email systems that you can add. And now we're going to put in our name. And I'm just going to put in the actual email address here rather than the name. This is my main holistic email address. And this just means the email address will show up. You can put the name that you want associated with the email account if you just want a person's name in here. Either way, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to do is copy that so I don't have to keep typing it. So select all and copy. Now in email, I can just click there and I can paste it in. That way, a lot of times people have a problem with setting their email system up. And a lot of times it's a typo. So what you want to be doing as many times as possible is if it's possible for you to type in different things that you want, the password and uh, email address somewhere else, and then paste it in, you've much more chance of getting it dead right consistently. And often we'll go in and troubleshoot an instance where somebody's having a problem having their email, and it's usually because there's a typo in there. Now the host name is the first thing to set, and that's where we start using the settings. And you can see this is incoming mail server, incoming mail server, and the host name is imap.zoho.com. So you just type that in. Again, paste it in if you can. Username, that's the email address. So we're just going to paste that. We know I've got it there right. Password again. Now we do the outgoing mail server. Again, same thing. This one's SMTP. If it's a different set of IMAP settings, these might vary slightly. But for Zoho, these are the settings. And then we'll click Next. Now it's going to verify. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I'm going to save that. And there it is. Now there's a couple of little gotchas that uh, when you're trying to set up your IMAP email generally or specifically your Zoho email on an iPhone uh, where the settings don't quite get set right. And I'll show you how to fix that if it doesn't work first time. So all you do is you go into settings and you look for your email. And we're going to take a look at Holistic. And we're going to go into the account where the IMAP details are. And sometimes it doesn't get set right. And you'll notice here under outgoing mail server, there's a little arrow to the right there. If I go there, that means wherever there's a little arrow, there's more that you can do with regard to settings and setup. So you go to that one. And this is the bit that often gets missed. And you go to the primary server. And you just check to see what the settings are here. And you can edit any of these. And you'll notice that the port is set right, 587. Sometimes that's not set right. And you'll want to add your password here. And sometimes that doesn't get automatically added. And in this case, we're using SSL. And you turn that on. Now, sometimes those settings don't get set up right. And you want to check that you've got authentication password set. And you put the password in there. So just make sure all the settings are consistent with the settings in the IMAP settings page. And for any email, any any email is going to have IMAP settings. And you're always going to want to check that this is the case. And this is the part that will often go wrong for people. These won't be set right. So you just need to take the extra step and go in there and make sure that those are set right.
So that's it. Pretty straightforward adding email accounts to an iPhone.